As the tour wraps up on the grandest of Grand Départs, cycling's biggest race continues south towards the Alps and the Pyrenees. Continuing our look into the Tour de France, former pro Juan Antonio Flecher, a cobbled classic master and 10-time Tour de France rider, guides in cycle through what he believes will be some of the toughest and most iconic locations that could well make or break the yellow jersey's hopes. First up on this week's show is stage 14, from Grenoble to Rizoul. The brutal 177-kilometre trek is the second and final day in the Alps. Three Category 1 climbs face the peloton, including the highest point in this year's tour, the Col de Isoar. It's here that the Prix Henri de Grange, the founder of the tour, will be awarded to the first rider over the top. Stage 14 offers little respite to the riders as it relentlessly goes up from the point the peloton leaves Grenoble. It should make for a very nervous start line on the 19th of July, as the race could easily be lost here. Here we are at the Col de Isoar, where it really begins the climb here with a really old start. It's about nine kilometers to the top. 17 meters high we are, but it's the highest climb of, the, of these tours. On top, we'll be at around almost 2,400 meters high. I remember this climb, 2003, that was the stage where Lion Samson crashed coming onto Gap, and we were going up this climb from this side, and I remember being in a big, big wreckway, <laughs> more than 20 riders probably, and we were all in pieces here. <laughs> So six kilometers to the top, we are almost 1,800, 1,900 meters, 8% gradient, <laughs> still a long way. <laughs> so on these last three kilometers to the top, here's the last chance probably for GZ contenders to, you know, ask if they have still some domestic here to put a higher pace. So here is where really they're going to put the hammer down. So here we are at the last kilometer, the final kilometer of Col de Lizoar. As you can see the woods are gone, we're pretty high here. And yeah, last, last part, last big effort before we hit the downhill. Coming down from this road is a pretty, pretty tricky. It's a narrow road, some tight corners, a lot of hairpins. And yeah, guys like Nibali, they can give it a try. I mean, I guarantee he's gonna try on this downhill. Okay, so now let's go down the hill. One hundred and sixty four kilometers into stage fourteen, and only twelve left as they climb up Rizul. It may be a first for the tour, but Froome signaled his presence in the Dauphiné here last year by attacking his rivals Contador and Valverde. Will he be able to do it again? So here we are, one kilometer to go to the top and finishing stage fourteen. This climb up to Rizal, it's not a steep climb, it's quite steady and it's about an average of five, six percent, especially this last five, uh, sorry, last kilometer. It's quite easy, I mean, it's gonna be a sprint probably into five contenders. I don't expect riders trying to go on the attack on this final climb, it's gonna be of course, after a hard stage, small little group, five, three riders. And I will say they're gonna finish in a sprint here. It's a hard stage, 
but not a final, you know, not a really steep final. So last climb of the three of the day after 177, it's around four and a half, five hours on the saddle. So I believe a good climb, but somebody that goes on the breakaway is gonna be the winner today.